they showed the jury Jody's interrogation video today. Stuff I know the viewers have seen parts of, but the jury saw the entire thing today. Here's a little bit of what they saw. It's you. I wanted to cover you up because oh. that's you. All of you. That looks like me. That is you. Let's just say I've seen all of you. Then I've seen all of Travis. But the one that sticks in my mind of Travis is on the autopsy table. Lonnie, I don't remember seeing that part during the original murder oh. trial, and that, that's pretty... It gets under your skin, right. doesn't it? The, the, the lying, the manipulativeness, and here's yes. this interrogator. He knows what he knows, and he's saying, here it is, honey. Come on now. Exactly, and now the jury also knows because she's already been convicted of first-degree murder. They know that she is the one who killed Travis. So they're sitting there watching this stuff, and it's great stuff for the prosecution to put in front of the jury. They sit there, and as you listen to the detective working along and asking her all these questions, and she lies again and again so calmly, so innocently, so sweetly, so like, like, who, me? And they know that it's all such a lie. And so if she does take the stand or she does allocute to them, they're going to be sitting there thinking the same thing. She's lying to us, just like she did so calmly, so sweetly in the interrogation room. And, There's no way they'll believe her. And Vanessa, does that not only does that make any testimony she gives questionable, but doesn't that make her seem more cold-blooded? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. shady. Look, she's yeah. a shady character, and people have picked up on that in the first trial. They picked up on that in the mistrial, and they're picking up on it now. But if you hear, listen to that interrogation, she said that she would beg for the death penalty. And as if I was a juror and I heard those words, that would make me want to not give it to her that much more. I, like I said before, I don't believe in the death penalty, and I don't think there's anything wrong with letting this girl sit and rot in jail and turning the cameras off. We need not to say her name anymore once she goes into the the jail cell so she can understand that no one cares about you anymore, Jody Arias. Does it, does only, it, go ahead, Leanne. Sorry, I was going to say, only if we can guarantee that she doesn't have her friend that's going to put her, par you know, her paintings on it. Twitter. Of course she'll have Of course, have right. So that's, that's, that's why I'm like, give her the death penalty. That's why the family is so adamant uh, about having this tried for mur for a death penalty, because they don't want this to keep going on. And, exactly. And being, you know, a, a lifetime of this being put in front of them is too much. Now, anybody else on the panel feel that having a strange reaction this time? I, uh, last time I was sort of seeing so much of her chaos and her craziness. This time I feel like they're seeing more of her cold-bloodedness. I know, Lana, you kind of nod your head when I said that before. But, I mean, yeah. the, the psychopath part seems to be coming through a little more clearly, at least to me, this time. Lonnie, what do you say? Yeah, I think when you look through those interrogation tapes and they hear how, I mean, the, the prosecution really focused on the premeditation this time. And when you think about how she was planning to stab him with the knife, to shoot him with the gun, all of these different steps that she, you know, set up this burglary. Can I interrupt the, you? Is yeah, that, is that because last time they were so busy trying to prove the murder, they couldn't, they did, now they're getting, focusing on yes. just how, how, how premeditated and how cold-blooded she yes. was. Plus, I also think they're streamlining, which is very smart to do. Streamline onto the strongest parts that are really going to just stick in the gut of the jurors. They don't have to hear all these tangential things. You've already gotten past the big step. She's guilty. Now you just want to show how cold, how sick she is, but not mentally ill. You don't want people to feel sorry for her, but how cold-blooded she is, and then the heinous part of how and horribly anybody, the crime anybody was.